Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today I'm going to talk about bank or credit card sub account setup. As you can see, I am in Craig's Landscaping and Design Sample Company and I'm here on the Chart of Accounts page because I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. Now basically when we're talking about sub account setup, we're talking about setting up either a bank account or credit card accounts that have sub accounts underneath them. In other words, the sub accounts feed the bank data into the banking area separately from the main account. Now what we're going to do is actually show you how to do this. I'm also going to provide a link to an article that will help you go through this. Now the most common way to set up a bank account or credit card account with multiple cards associated with it is to create a parent account and then have each individual card set up underneath it as a sub account. And then you're going to connect the sub accounts to the banking fee. So first of all I'm going to show you and I'm going to use this Visa card as an example because we're going to use this Visa card as our parent account. So when I go over here to set up the sub accounts underneath that Visa card I'm going to go ahead and click on new and I need to change that to a credit card type and then I'm going to call this Visa Sub 1. And ideally, if I had the last four digits of that sub card, I would go ahead and put that here. Let's say for the purpose of what we're doing here, I'm going to do 1357. Okay. I also want to make that a sub account of that Visa card. So I'm going to go ahead and start typing Visa here, and that'll pop up. And I'm not going to worry about this. I'm going to save and close that. As you go down here, you'll see that now, as you scroll through here, we've got Visa Sub set up as a separate sub account under that Visa card. We're going to do the same thing and add the second card. It's also going to be a credit card type. And we're going to call that Visa Sub card and I can't remember the naming nomenclature I did that for that so I'm going to put two and then I'm going to do that three six two five all right make that a sub account of that same visa card actually since I have this here I'll go up here and edit that to sub two instead of sub card I, mean, I can go back and change it. I just can go ahead and get it right as we're doing that. So I'm going to save and close that. And then when I get back down to here, you'll see I've got those two sub cards here. So these two sub cards are what you want to connect to the banking center. All right. And so the way that you would be going about connecting those is you would actually switch over to the banking center to connect those. Okay, so now that we're in the banking center, I'll show you where you would connect those two sub cards. You would actually go over here to where it says link account and you're going to click on this. Now, since we're in the sample file, you're only going to be able to get so far. So I may have to switch over and show you from my QBO account how to do this up to the point where I'm able to do that. All right, so we're in my personal QBO file and I've clicked on the linked accounts button and this is the page that I've come to now that I've already got information already connected in the banking center. I would just choose the option connect to a different bank to add a new account here. And if it's one of the popular banks or credit card companies, then you can actually search this short list and click on one of these and for the purposes of what we're going to be doing I'm going to go ahead and click on Bank of America I don't really have an account at Bank of America but then what it would do is it would have you select the uh, accounts that you want to connect with and you would go ahead and you would 
uh, continue on through here and follow the directions in here. And then that's how you would connect those. It would also prompt you to map it out to those accounts in your chart of accounts that you created so that those feeds will pull through there. I'm not going to be able to show you the rest of that, unfortunately, from here. But what I'm going to do is to point you to a couple of articles that you'll be able to see all of this being done step by step. So here are the tabs that I've opened up with the links to the two articles that should be able to help you with the remainder of the setup. The first one talks about setting the sub cards up. And here we go. I'm just going to kind of scroll through there. So you'll be able to read that at your leisure. I'm going to put those links in the comments below. And then the next one is actually going through and connecting the bank and credit card accounts to QuickBooks Online. Like I said, you're going to connect the sub account card links to the banking feed. You will not connect the parent accounts. You're going to get an error message if you try to do that. So hopefully this will help you today, everyone. Take care, everyone, and have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45 minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.